probably the best bit of information I can give to you in order that you can move forward and manifest your dreams, your every desire, your wish, the lottery, the healing, the wedding, whatever it is, the best bit of advice that I can give to you, my friend, is to stop using affirmations. Start using this mantra that I'm about to share with you. This changed my life. I'm going to tell you all about it. I'm going to tell you why I quit using affirmations and instead I replaced everything with this simple mantra and I live my life by it. And my life is amazing in terms of how it has transitioned and transformed. The struggles that used to keep me in affirmation, that used to keep me so focused on them and so worried and concerned, they do not exist in my reality anymore. You can move forward and enjoy this piece too. This is the piece that actually moves you forward. And today, today I'm going to tell you all about it. It won't take a lot of your time, but it might change your life. So come and spend 10 minutes, 10 minutes with me. Let's kick straight on into it. Hello, good looking, a warm welcome. Thank you for coming over. I love your company and I'm here every day. So if you are not subscribed, what are you doing? Join the family, hit the button. The energy here is off the chart. It is so encouraging to see all of you gorgeous souls supporting one another in the comments, reaching out, journeying together. The energy here is the energy of creation. We love you just as you are. Your community, your community is here. We accept you, we are thankful for you, we celebrate you. So make sure that you are subscribed, make sure that you visit with me each and every day to be encouraged, to be uplifted, and to have someone by your side in the journey. Because my friend, that's kind of what today is all about. So often we talk about the power in using affirming statements of faith. Affirmations. We talk about the power in having affirmations all around your environment. Affirmations that say, I am so thankful and grateful that the love of my life is out there praying for me and it's just a matter of time until we connect. Affirmations that say, I am so thankful and grateful that the universe is unfolding in my life in such a way that all of my dreams are coming true. Affirmations that say, I'm so thankful and grateful I'm about to win the lottery. Affirmations that say, I am so thankful and grateful that my body is healed. I am pain free. The problem with this is the point of focus. Now let's just backtrack a little bit and let me say something to you that you've heard me say dozens of times if you've been with me on the channel for an amount of time, but it has never been more apparent except for today. See, what it is that you focus on always expands. Where you place your attention is where energy goes, and energy, energy always expands. It doesn't contract, it always flows. So anything you focus on expands. So in life, when you use an affirmation that says, I'm so thankful and grateful that my money worries are over, the subconscious network of the mind goes to the root of the statement, which is the money problem. And even though your words say, I'm so thankful that they are over, your energy goes to the place of the lack. Where you place your energy expands. When you use an affirmation that says, I am so thankful and grateful, that I'm moving towards the best relationship I have ever been in. One that's full of love and support and kindness. And we feel the vibration of these things, love and support and kindness, but the subconscious networks in the mind and 95% of all of our thinking is beneath the conscious radar. It's behind the veil of the analytical mind, which is the subconscious. So as you say these affirmations, the subconscious network latches onto the area of lack and it begins to focus on that area. And it starts to expand it. This is why when you start using affirmations, more lack starts showing up. Have you experienced that? Have you ever tried to use affirmations to break through and you've started using them faithfully and diligently and somehow all hell breaks loose? What's up with that? 
it's because the subconscious network is sending all of its energy to what we see as the lack or the problem, and it begins to expand that. It's such a basic principle of the universe, but none of us remember that this is how it really works. Now, what I've done is I've shifted from using all these different affirmations to help move me forward to having one simple mantra that I live my entire life by. My whole life, I live by this one mantra. It's a question to ponder and an action to take in one statement that applies to every single facet of life, no matter what, no exceptions, no ifs, no ands, no buts, full stop, that's it. It applies to relationships. It applies to your relationship with yourself. It applies to the voices you hear externally and the voices you hear internally. It applies to your bank balance, your money, and your income. It applies to your love life and your romance. It applies to your car, your home, your career, your health, your healing, your ministry. It applies to your marriage. It applies to your children and your grandchildren. It applies to everything, this one statement following a question. My encouragement to you today is to begin using my mantra for every interaction you have in your world. In every situation, have this at the top of your conscious mind, right out in front, leading the way. Are you ready? It's simple. Are you ready? You've got a pen and paper. This might change your life. It's simple, but it might change your life. My mantra is simply this. If it doesn't feel good, let it go. If it doesn't feel good, let it go. I was talking to my kids just recently. We had school holidays, and we always spend the week together on school holidays, and it's such a blessed time. Those kids of mine, I mean, I guess every parent is biased, but... I, I tell you what, I hit the jackpot with my two sons. They are the most incredible, wonderful, beautiful, loving, kind, generous souls you could ever hope to know. And they're my boys, and I am so proud. But I was chatting with them on holidays. My eldest, you might have heard the stories, he's on the autism spectrum, but he's super high functioning and he manages himself so well. And on the holidays, he was reflecting something to me that he'd been going through. And I shared this with him. I said, mate, this is how I live my life. This is what brings me the peace that you observe in my life. If it doesn't feel good, let it go. I know that thing that that person at school said to you, it wasn't nice. It wasn't even right. And the social justice warrior inside of all of us wants to fight for what's right. But when it doesn't feel good, just let it go. You have to be responsible with this. This sounds like you can just cast everything aside and live in a life that is just a feel-good fluffy moment. The problem is there's no responsibility with that. You have to be a diligent and faithful servant with what I'm teaching you today for it to have effect. Let me show you what I mean. If something doesn't feel good, let it go. But what happens if that something that doesn't feel good is some sort of lesson? What happens if it's something that's been sent to help you to move forward and to come up higher? Do we just cast it asunder and not pay any attention? No, of course not. We pay attention. We listen. But we don't listen to the voices that surround us. We go within because we know everything is us pushed out. So we go within and when something triggers you, when someone says something to you or you overhear something, when something doesn't go right in life, there's a housing situation and it's a problem. There's some stress that's come into your world and it is real. There's a health concern and it is frightening. Go inside of yourself and have a little check-in. Have a self-assessment. How am I feeling on the inside about this? You will very quickly feel where there is resistance. You feel it because you feel it in your stomach. You feel your breath getting shallow, your body temperature goes up, you feel the resistance on the inside, and when you feel that, it doesn't feel good. That is what to let go of. 
It doesn't mean you let go of your part of the responsibility in journeying towards fixing the problem. It doesn't mean that you let go of people and places and things. It doesn't mean that you have a drama in your life and you completely ignore it. Don't stick your head in the sand. But when the resistance that you experience doesn't feel good, just let it go. Let it go and let the universe unfold exactly as it should. Because when you get your fingers out of the universe's pies, it can finally put those pies in the oven and cook them to perfection. But with your fingers in those pies, the pies won't go into the oven. They will not be baked. The beautiful, sweet aroma of that expected end will never ever do anything except tantalize you and torture you and tease you. You have to be a faithful servant with this. You have to understand that there is a place for you to participate in your very own unfolding. But when there is resistance on the inside, turn your gaze inwards. When you see it, when you witness it, when you feel it, if it doesn't feel good, just let it go. Let the universe unfold and you say, I can't let it go because I don't know what's going to happen. If you don't know what's going to happen, how can you hold on to it? That's my question. Make space for what is happening in your life. Be a good servant. But if it isn't growing you, if it doesn't feel good, let it go. That's all I've got time for, but I hope that it blessed you. I hope that you use this. I know it's so simple, but believe me when I tell you. It changes lives. See, this is the thing that will lift your vibration and shift your vibrational set point like nothing else. Sometimes you just have to show up for yourself. And that means sometimes when something crosses your path and you want to wrestle with it, you want to go down the rabbit hole, how dare they say that? How could they have hurt me like this? What's the matter with these people? And we want to go down that rabbit hole. Don't do it. If it doesn't feel good, let it go and breathe. Your dream is worth it. I love you. I'm thankful for you. Make sure that you subscribe. Send this video to someone. Give it a thumbs up. Check these two out. Join my coaching group. There's a link down below. I'd love to welcome you. But until tomorrow, God bless you. I love you.